This is an old original international wagon seat. It didn't come with this wagon, but it's the pattern that we're going to use to make the seat for this wagon. We're going to examine it carefully, look for the styles, and then we need to decide what are repairs and what is original. We'll go ahead and take our measurements so that we can get our boards cut to build the seat. And we'll get the angles figured out so we can get these cut properly. Then we need to watch what type of joint work has been done. And then we'll begin preparing the boards so we can make the seat. There are numerous styles and sizes of seats, so I make patterns and write down the degrees and angles off of these seats. This is the international pattern that we made from this original seat. So you can see the different degrees that we'll use when we make this seat. Since there are right and lefts, I put pencil marks on to help me remember the correct angles. When this seat arm hits the back, it has to be at 18 degrees. So the first time I'm going to saw it, actually saw in square to the 18 degrees and show you why that does not work. <coughs> So when we saw this square and then put that square face against the back when the arm is at an angle, you see that we don't come out at 90 degrees. We have an acute angle instead of a 90 degree angle. So this back face has to be cut at a 7 degree angle in order for the seat arm to come out square. Here you can see why the 7 degrees makes all the difference. Not all seats have these particular numbers, but these are the numbers that work on this seat. Here's the 7 degrees that makes this arm come out at 90 degrees. Now I'll cut the seat back to the right length. And the ends of the seat back will be cut to match the angle of the seat arm. It also will be cut off at the 7 degrees. Again, these pencil marks are not accurate. They're just visual reminders for me so that I cut them correctly.
this is just a quick double check that I have my angles right. This is the dado joint that's cut into the seat back that will be inset about an inch. I'll set my blade depth at about a quarter of an inch. And I'll make a practice run to make sure it's correct. Now I can cut the actual data joint in the seat back. Then I'll make sure that all my joints fit. And the next several minutes are just showing how the seat begins to go together. I'll do a little prep work before I actually start gluing them together.
Now that we're together, I can start to clean up my joints. Now we're pretty close to the old original. Now I need to make the blocks that mount the springs. This is a pattern that I keep around for a reminder.
This is what it looks like after I oil it. And then I'll put the last two pieces of iron on. So here we are, completed, ready to put it on the wagon. If you watched part three, this is what we looked like after the bows were on. Thanks for watching.